so um agenda is up and uh we don't have anything very dramatic on it um but we'll we'll get started um current viewer release candidates uh include the usual collection that we've had for a while now we did release the um combined merchant outbox and voice and some brake pad updates released this past monday um that seems to be doing just fine in release um and we're We're looking at the next round of stuff uh, today. Well, we've had interesting and the maintenance viewer out for a while now. And uh, today we added the latest update of the Sunshine, or I guess, the, I don't know if that went out yesterday or today. Sunshine, um, and we just released SL Share. So, um, as a release candidate. So, those are all good. Uh, group ban. Um, Baker has been fixing some things that were found in the Aditi testing, uh, and he's also been working some on another project. He expects to get back to Gruban full time next week, and uh, we should see a new, an update of that and probably move it to uh, a wider test environment pretty soon. Um, yeah, there's there's some stuff happening. So I, we haven't we haven't lost track of that by any means. Um, also pending uh, is uh, we got the last essential fixes into the snowstorm viewer uh, collection um, from the winter. Um, thank you very much to Cinder for helping find the last couple of major bugs. And uh, that's um, that's now in QA to be released as a project viewer next week, assuming it gets through QA. Um, so uh, I'm I'm psyched about that. That includes the update to uh, get the LSL syntax hints, which are much improved, by the way, um, from the simulator. So you will always be in sync with the simulator you're on when you're editing LSL, um, which is kind of nice and takes the heat off us to update it in the viewer quite so quickly. Um, it does have a backup file in the viewer, but uh, we don't expect to use it much. The simulator side of those changes have been out for quite some time. <clears throat> so, um, so that's all good. And uh, we still have the Zipper and Oculus Rift project viewers out there. Um, Oculus Rift probably won't, other than bug fixes that, you know, that the beta testers are finding, it probably won't get a, a major update or go to release candidate for a while. Uh, um, probably not until the the, uh, the the next development kit from Oculus is really available, um, but we'll see how that how that goes. Zipper probably will become a release candidate very very soon. So I think that's the the status of all of the viewer development efforts. Um, so the floor is open. I don't see source uh, repository for the Oculus Rift listed on the page of source repositories. Right. It has not been made generally available yet. 
any specific reason why it's a project we are, but not uh, open source yet? Uh, because the development team wanted it that way. Um, we've, we've shared it on a limited basis with people who are helping with it, but um, no. Um, it, I mean, if you want to, um, it, it's, it's not something that's really, we think, we believe that there are going to be very significant changes required um, when the when the second development kit comes out, um, and and we just don't want to have what is very soon going to be a, 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 a an implementation of of interest only to a tiny minority of people um, out there confusing people. So. How many well, we haven't gotten ours yet, report? so. <laughs> How many people look at source repositories and get confused? I don't understand that line of argument. If we put the source out there, then people will build it and distribute viewers of it. And we don't want that to happen. That makes no sense. You have a project viewer with downloads. Why would anyone build it and distribute their own? Okay. I, maybe I should have stuck to the simple answer. The development team doesn't want those sources public yet. So they're not. Um, Cocoa fixes are not being done as a lump of cocoa fixes, um, but there are a bunch of them coming out in, in different, in various of the viewers. Um, the, uh, the, um, there, there are some cocoa fixes in the maintenance branch. Um, I think there's, there's one in the snowstorm branch. So there, we're we're getting to them a little at a time, um, but the, it's not it's not fixing cocoa is not a project unto itself. So you'll just have to watch for the individual fixes as they come out. The voice fixes should, in the latest in in the current default uh, release viewer, voice all the voice issues on Maverick should be fixed. If if you're finding that that's not true, that's a that's a problem. Um, the one that we're having the most trouble with, and if anybody wants to contribute to, it would be very much appreciated, um, especially by me even, uh, is the, the alt cam problem where if you, if you use all mouse camming, you, you tend to get zoomed out by a couple hundred meters. Um, and, uh, we have had somebody looking at that and, not able to pin down why it's happening. So if if anybody wants to spend some development cycles on something that will, that a great many Mac users will appreciate a fix for, that's a great one. Yeah, I don't I don't know whether anybody's done anything with the keystroke echo lag but Uh, I have not heard anything about the the results of the chat lag work. I, I should I, I should make an effort to do that just uh, just out of person personal curiosity. It shouldn't shouldn't affect viewers one way or another, but it's it obviously affects users a lot. Um, but no, I I haven't heard anything about that. My my suspicion, just to set expectations, and this is purely my personal suspicion based on uh, four years of watching people try to work out what the problems with chat lag are, um, is that it's actually a lot of different problems and that no one thing is going to make a gigantic difference. We're just going to have to keep plugging away at, at the small things until we get good enough.
just out of curiosity, what are the chances of getting Abby to come out to a TPV meeting? Uh, I have a I have a meeting in with him next week. I will ask. Not I will invite him. I will ask him if he wants to be invited. Um, but uh, I I am gonna I am gonna be meeting with him next week. So. Uh, well, he's he's coming out to visit the Boston office, so uh, a bunch of us here will be getting some time with him. Cool. Uh, he he might come. I I think we can promise to not be too too rough on him. <laughs> yeah, well. It, it probably wouldn't be helpful if you were, but I I don't know. Well, uh, frank, frankly, after watching him deal with some of the people on, on the uh, forums, I don't think he'd have any problem with us. Probably not. Uh, the, the WebKit update... Um, we, We've had we've had uh, a bunch of activity around that. Um, nothing definitive, um, and uh, I, I wouldn't expect any releases out of any of it yet. Um, it, it's it's a, a a large can full of really twisty worms. So, um, and it's it's not even really clear what what the you know what a what a and, and what an update would accomplish necessarily um other than being on a newer version i love monty's answer good answer monty yeah <laughs> yes we realize that there are many mac users very frustrated with it yeah and Amaya, what what Kim said, the Oculus Rift uh, source code. Yes, yes, the Oculus Rift is a well, it's a it's a semi closed beta. What you have to do to get into the beta is um, assert that you really do have an Oculus Rift, um, and then we'll give you the software for it. But we we expect that that software is going to change significantly. Yeah, Marty, go ahead. Actually, I was going to ask one question about people who have worked with um, QT and QT WebKit. And that is, I've um, locally done some demonstrations, and I know that the QT521 can at least play YouTube videos on Mac. What I'm curious is, has anyone ever successfully got a 4.8 release to display uh, Flash videos with uh, Flash version 13? I know it can do 11.7, but not 13. Yeah, that's what I thought. No positives out there? Okay, thank you. Well, being able to play flash vids but not push the buttons would be better than not being able to play them at all, right? Does Windows lose the button capability or is this strictly on Mac?
Um, I'm going to guess that quote if you're asking me. Um, I haven't separated them into separate libraries, um, but in all the work I've done so far, I've teased them apart so they are clearly in two areas being built by um, two different QMake sessions. Um, it is a lot less a mess than it is in the uh, currently published LQT WebKit uh, repository. If that stuff gets out, you will see it. No, it hasn't been made public, though I can perhaps discuss with Oz whether the repos can be made public. Um, we'll follow up later. They are extremely experimental. At the moment, most of them aren't even visible to me. Yeah, I don't like people looking over my shoulder. Makes me nervous. <laughs> Monty, has anybody evaluated the use of a Chrome and Medium framework CEF? There, there has oh. been some discussion of that. We, we've, we've not built a working prototype yet or anything. Um, I was just wondering if somebody looked at how big a project that will be. Yeah, we're we're sort of trying to think through how big a project it will be without actually doing the project to find out, but. Um, we're, we're it's it's still at the mostly hypothetical stage um, when it, if if we decide to do it uh, we'll we'll certainly want to put together a project viewer and have people beat on it extensively before we even think about moving it into the main viewer That that would be really valuable, Worley, I'm sure. Um, Well, take a QT WebKit is not going to be developed anymore, so it's a dead end. So you have to move to something. Either use, uh, you know, the straight uh, WebKit or go to Chrome embedded, which which has forked off in their own directions. One or the other. Yeah, it's it, it's on the list of of uh things waiting out in the dark to bite us and so it's it's not that we're we're not aware of the the issue uh Callum is actually working on thinking about some of the uh some of the CEF possibilities, but there isn't much to report yet. Other topics? We're going to be done early again today? Jess isn't here, so that's uh, 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 at least a 75% probability loss. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to admit, we didn't come with anything dramatic either. Um, I, I guess it's safe for me to say this. We are still looking at a release. Uh, we don't have a solid date yet. Um, 
And my understanding is that it will have the new voice files in it? Uh, I believe so, yes. Yeah. That's good. The, the Vivox people would really love it if we got the 4.5 um, things off. Uh, they, especially on Macs, on, uh, on, on Macs, they, they cause bugs that create a lot of unnecessary load on the, on the voice backends. Uh, we have asked them for a, for a f Linux 4.6, and we haven't gotten it yet. We're we're working on that. That is, we're pestering them about it. No, Monty, you leave Worley alone. She's ours. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think we're done. Uh, if anything comes up, you know where to find me. Uh, Oz did say interesting was, uh, I believe he said it was so just uh, RC. Yes, it is. In fact, it's... Uh, as of the moment, it's the best. It's it's doing the best of the of the release candidates that are out, but we don't have very much data on some of them. So, um, and and we won't likely do another promotion to a default viewer release until a week after next. We're trying to do no more often than every two weeks, unless there's something really, uh, really, really urgent which at the moment there isn't. Uh, not, not even, uh, not even necessarily a new crasher, uh, you know, something that's really affect adversely affecting lots of the people. Um, most crashes don't affect big percentages of people. Okay, everybody. Take it easy. We'll see. Have you a good one, Oz. Oz, Monty, thanks, and have a good one. We'll catch you next time.